Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Brooke sabotages Steffi Forrester. The bold and the beautiful has another instigative Monte Carlo trip planned this summer and it looks like Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang might be over to her old shenanigans. Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, is still mealy that her evil stepmama is back at Forrester Creations, and the pressures will reach a boiling point coming week on Bold and Beautiful. Then's what's passing on the CBS cleaner, spoilers ahead. The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers, Steffi Forrester and Brooke Logan bump heads so far we know that Brooke Logan, Ridge Forrester, Torsten K, and Steffi Forrester are supposed to travel to Monte Carlo to promote Brooke's bedroom's relaunch at Forrester Creations. BMB spoilers reveal Steffi is trying everything in her power to shut down Ridge and Brooke's new collab. It's no secret Steffi does not want the Logan women getting any further power at her family business. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Brooke Logan on the other hand is rapturous to be back to work and relaunching her own line. Um, why would not she be? Effects are going great for Ridge's poet. Still, Steffi Forrester's negative station and endless bickering are really starting to put a mute on effects at Forrester Creations. The last thing Brooke wants is for Steffi to ruin her romantic Monte Carlo trip with Ridge. The bold and the beautiful spoilers 3 must see BNB moments, week of July 22, 2024 View Story BNB spoilers, how low will Brooke Logan go at the last nanosecond, Steffi Forrester reportedly misses the Monte Carlo airplane. Because she see and find her passport. So, Brooke and Ridge go to Monte Carlo without her. According to BMB spoilers, effects work out impeccably for Brooke and she gets Ridge Forrester all to herself. But, Scuttlebutt has it Brooke actually sabotages her stepdaughter and makes sure she misses the airplane. Do you suppose that Brooke will deign so low to hide Steffi's passport so she see and leave Los Angeles and rain on her Monte Carlo vacay? What will Ridge suppose if he finds out the verity about why Steffi had to stay before? Finn gets word about Sheila amid Hope's advances, and Brooke makes a decision guaranteed to irk Steffi. O'Day on the bold and the beautiful, Finn fields Hope's advances, Steffi and Liam bandy Sheila, and Brooke makes Ridge a happy man. At Forrester, Hope tells Finn there's nothing wrong with having an innocent discussion. Finn does and suppose it's a good idea to be talking this way. Hope scoffs, come on. Are you surprised to find out I've a little crush on you? Finn knows she's just having fun playing around? Hope says, perhaps, but you still haven't told me, can you make a girl's dreams come true? Finn tells Hope that whatever is going on with her, he senses his woman. Is right in the middle. Hope admits they got into a little tiff before. Finn prodigies if they ll ever get on. Hope does not want to make this about Steffi. This is each about you. Finn Hope BNB in the design office, Steffi snaps up her paperwork and vacates after catching Ridge and Brooke canoodling half-dressed. She remarks that she's tripping over two numerous Logan's moment as she departs. Brooke does up her blouse and tells Ridge she's sorry Steffi caught them like that. Ridge wants to continue their discussion about the bedroom line. Brooke thinks she's not an applicable age to be modeling lingerie, let alone be the face of the line. Ridge argues that she's gorgeous indeed more gorgeous now than she was also. Ridge wishes she'd review. The peak in Monte Carlo is approaching and at the perfect time for her to relaunch her career. Brooke argues that she doesn't look like she did in her 20s and 30s. Ridge says she has real beauty. Brooke's nervous to be scanned. Ridge doesn't want her to do anything she is not comfortable with, but they've an occasion then. She's living evidence that beauty just gets better every time. In her office, Steffi is acting stressed out when Liam turns up. They bandy in forthcoming peak and Steffi snarks that she wishes she could leave for it now. It's Logan free. I would like to live there. Liam laughters. Steffi takes a call and also tells Liam she's agitated to spend time in Monte Carlo with her pater. Down from all effects Logan. She tells him about chancing Brooke and Ridge together in the other room. I see a and unsee that. Liam thinks she ll survived that and the situation with Hope. Steffi says she could get along with Hope if she d leave her hubby alone and stop championing for Sheila. 
Liam mentions he stopped by Finn's office to give him credit for putting her and his family first for a change. In the confidentially area, Finn tells Hope he's been allowing about her and her migraines. Hope tells him he has magic hands and prodigies if she's making him nervous. Finn warns she would end get a rise out of him. Hope asks him not to count her out just yet. Finn says he's going to find his woman. And urges her to button up. Hope says not numerous men tell her to button over. Finn says he's not most men. As he's leaving, he gets a textbook from Deacon and tells Hope that Sheila's been released. She asks, how does that make you feel? Finn Hope B&B in the design office, Brooke tells Ridge she feels good about herself, but he's prejudiced. Ridge tells her she should be loud and proud with that body. He rushes over to the rack and gets a negligee from the line that he just finished and pleads with her to put it on. Our legend, our icon Brooke says, only for you, and heads behind the curtain. In the main office, Steffi sensations over Liam felicitating her hubby. Liam shrugs that he merited it, he eventually stood up for her and the family when it came to Sheila. He knows he's been confused. Steffi says, not presently. Talk turns to the deaths at I.L. Giardino and Steffi says it's murder. Liam says either way, Finn came through and did and allow himself to be decolorized by Sheila. He hopes it sticks. Steffi tells him it's over. Sheila is eventually in guardianship. In the confidentially area, Finn and Hope go over Sheila being released. After interrogating her, they set up no substantiation of guilt. Hope didn't see this coming and asks Finn's studies. Finn admits a part of him is relieved. Deep down, he didn't really believe that she boggled Tom and Hollis. Why would she? She's happy and concentrated on turning her life around. It didn't make sense. Hope doesn't really know what to believe. Finn chuckles, me moreover. He allowed. It was important for the Bobbies to question her, but the last thing he wanted was for her to be shamefaced. Hope's really happy for him. Finn smiles. In the main office, Steffi assures Liam this is the end for Sheila. She would end get down with it this time. Liam asks if she's confident it's her. Steffi says, absolutely. It's an open and shut case. Sheila is eventually going to pay for her crimes. Backstage, Finn states that Sheila is officially a free woman. He assures her that he would end get swept up with his birth mama again and he ll honor his pledge to his woman. Hope reflects that she presumably should end have been a part of that marriage, but she did it for her pater. Finn thinks they re on the same runner. Hope agrees that they re in sync perhaps one day he ll be suitable to admit how in sync they really are. In the design office, Brooke emerges in the grandiloquent negligee and Ridge goes bananas. This is why she has to be the face of the bedroom line no bone. Differently can make these pieces shine. Do this for me. Do it for the company. No, do it for me. He tells her she's irreplaceable. Brooke looks at herself in the glass and says she doesn't feel her age. She's getting aged and that's okay. It's a honor, not everyone gets to do it. She looks forward to taking pitfalls, taking on challenges, contributing to the community, and staying true to herself. The study of modeling lingerie on the global stage is shocking, but that's what makes her want to do it. Ridge gasps his pleasure and says she would end lament this. They kiss and spoon and express their love. Ridge tells her the world will fall in love with her each over again.